So today we are going to discuss about the case of L. Langer versus New Sombrero Phosphate of 1878, just a landmark case of English contract law. The facts of the case was Frederick M. I. D. L. Langer was a Persian banker. He bought the lease of the Anguilla Island of Sombrero for phosphate mining for fifty-five thousand pounds. He then set up the New Sombrero Phosphate Company after the eight days of incorporation. He sold that island to the company for one lakh ten thousand pounds through a nominee. One of the director was the Lord Mayor of London, who himself was independent of the syndicate that formed the company. Two other directors were abroad, and the other were mere puppet director of Ellanger. The board, which was effectively Ellanger, ratified the sale of the lease. Ellanger, through the promotion and advertisement. Got many members of public to invest in the company. After eight months, the public investors found out the fact that L. Langer had bought the island at half the price of the company. Now, with their money, had paid for it. The new Sombrero Phosphate Cor uh, Corporation sued for the rescission based on non-disclosure. If they gave back the if they gave back the mine and an account of profit. Or for the difference. So the question was: Was Erlanger liable to phosphate due to not disclosing to his conflict to interest? So uh, it was held that the contract could be resigned by the company. Erlanger was a promoter for the phosphate. So the House of Lords unanimously held that the relationship between a promoter and a newly formed company attracts a fiduciary relationship. a promoter owes duty of good faith and honesty to the company and langer should have disclosed uh, declared and uh, any conflict of interest to the company promoted and cannot make any secret profit <clears throat> a promoter who breach any duty to the company by failing to disclose to the company uh, conflicting interest would be liable so the company is able to seek remedies such as rescission of contract and recovery of